in the, you know, we discussed that sutra last evening, yesterday evening, and I think we need to go back to it before we, before we move forward. It is very enlightening that if you really get it, you get it. <laughs> so, did it. This is yours. And this is a penny pass to the other one. Mm -hmm. I have sent all homework back. And let me open the sutra. I could send you something for this email. What am I supposed to send? Or just keep yeah. it? Yeah, please. Okay. Oh, okay. good. I just didn't want to forget. Thank you. Hello, computer. Wake up. seeing Udana 110. Mm, I remember using Ananda Jyoti translation. I'm changing to one by Venable Yeah, I'm a Santika uh, Tanis, Tanis, uh, Did we? Uh, yeah. Okay. This one we used. So down in one ten here, right? <coughs> Yeah, yeah this is the one we use. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the, to get to the poly I think it's a little gear button up there, right? Um, on this? Mm -hmm. I think so. Oh yeah, let's try that. Uh -uh. Activate poly. <coughs> side by side. Uh, you have to scroll down to activate poly. Scroll down. Go up. Go up. Oh, wait. Spread flatten. Go up a little bit. Go up. Right there. This? Sure. <laughs> How are you learning too, Corey? Yep. And <laughs> close it. What's the drop down? The arrow. Is it right? Over, over yeah. the right? Over here? This is just look up. There's an arrow to the right of the gear. Oh, okay. That? Mm -hmm. And you know, what? Oh, mm -hmm. oh, just more info. I don't know. Go back and press F5. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just hit the. Nope, not that bad. 
Is that fun now? <coughs> this? Yeah. Side by side. Side by side. Hit that check or that tick box up right below. Can you to come do it? For me. Yeah. I'm just guessing. I'm really good at clicking around. Yeah, I know what I What was on top was like a button to turn it on. I need to scroll down the whole page to not just the pop up button. I thought I saw a there button on the top, yeah. Yeah, that, that one. Yeah. Right? Trying to speak to you. There you go. Changed. Well, uh, the the thing thing Something happened. <laughs> what is that? Paragraph number. That's it. Try the gear and then now scroll down the main page. Well, let me find the party and then split the screen so you have it side by side. Oh no. We first need to. What's the info button to the left of the gear? This? Yeah. <coughs> Translate it by hand and all that. I forget, there's a way to get the poly. I just, there's what? a way to get poly. Uh, 14 translations, arrow to the left hand. No, uh, but oh. that channel, one edition. Of oh, there the, it is. Uh, but I'm trying to open it. Yeah, yes. that's, yeah, I don't know how to do that. So, how do I split screen? Yeah, you can do Windows. No, Windows key like that. Windows key like that. And Windows key left there on the other way. Wow. Or just click on the other one. Oh, wait, never mind, you got two different windows. You can drag, you can drag the other one out. That's very handy. This one? Drag it out. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have Pali on the, on the left side. Mm -hmm. To me, but to your left, left side, right? Yep. So. <clears throat> oh, it looks like you can mouse over. Yeah. That's right. So you have oh, look at that. A1. Yeah. So in this way, in such a way, so meanings are given. Me. To me, my, my, this is a great way to do uh, But let's go to the Dharma part. So what did, what did uh, Buddha say to Bahya? This is the teaching. Tasma, so, but he first said, Bhante, something could happen to your life or something could happen to my life. So teach me. And right away the Buddha saw that maybe there is something going to happen to this man. And he saw that he was going to be killed. Um, he kind of, at least he knew that this man's life is going to be short. And it's, this is the only time to help him. That he did some karma in the past that came after him. And it right when the, the cow with the baby cow was there and the karma ripened and the cow decided to attack and kill the man. So that's what happened. But that's not important. He became an enlightened arahant. That's the important part. And this simple teaching and his life as a mendicant, basically he had resorted himself to the simplest life possible, not even wearing any any clothes, just basically wearing tree, tree barks, which is uncomfortable, but he did that. We wear clothes because clothes are comfortable, like we use cotton, linen, and all kinds of clothing, because, but Bahia was simpler than that, simpler than all of us. He wore barely nothing, like anything. And then this is the teaching. You see this, is it small? Plena Dite Dite Matang Bhavisati Sute Sute Matang Bhavisati Mute Mute Matang Bhavisati Vinyate Vinyata Matang Bhavisati That is the main teaching. So let's find the English of that. <coughs> This one. Too small? Yes. 
Better? Yes. Okay. In reference to the seen, there will be only the seen. In reference to the heard, only the heard. In reference to the sensed, only the sensed. In reference to the cognized, only the cognized. So, what is seen is seen, and what is heard, what, that once you have seen something, you don't process it any further. But when you have seen me, well, seen me, you don't do anything, but maybe you think about exams, midterm tests, and all. But when you have seen a pretty something, <laughs> You start to process, you will start to papanchait, papanchait is a word that you proliferate. So this is a word found in the canon and proliferate. Proliferating here means you are multiplying your thoughts and you let you go on catching different things, catching details of what you saw. But by here he needed the instruction to not go any further. It seen don't cling to it. Is it possible for an ordinary person? No, this says that Bahir did some meditation. Although he was deceived by his own practice, that he is an arahant, but the fact that there were no defilements in him that he recognized and the desire to know the teachings that quickly and that it worked means he was already prepared. The Buddha had seen that, that this man is ready to get this kind of meaning, this kind of teaching and that clicked his mind. And then he goes on doesn't that also, can, can that also mean that we've read so far the separation of the sense bases, sense spheres? Kind of just, yeah. the visual field is just the visual field. It's yeah. not, it's, it can be isolated to that. It's not mixed in with anything else. It's, yeah. The body and the mind are separate things. Yeah, I watched some of that video. The, the guy from Australia, you see Ajahn Brahm? Brahm. Yeah. yeah, you watched that? A little bit. Yeah, and uh, he was saying that Bahia went up to a in a previous life. He was up on a mountain with several mm -hmm. other people who mm -hmm. said yeah. they weren't going to come on yeah. down until they were in line. In line. Yeah. Which means, yes, that's the other story. So that is something I have discussed with other people before. That seven people, uh, they were all friends climbed up the mountain and made a determination that you know they will throw throw away the ladder and they will meditate and will become enlightened if not will die there they have such determination and they did you know throw the ladder away and uh, and all of them went to different stages of awakening and they were born depending on their residue, they were born in different places and Bahia was one of them. Um, if, I, if I go to my channel, I will be able to find that story for you based on the uh, discussion I did. I think it is, uh, I saw it yesterday. It's an interesting story that Pietan wrote about it. <coughs> So, yeah, let me show that to you. To you guys, I mean. <clears throat> In my videos. Not this. 
and let things be. Get it? If you get it, you are enlightened. <laughs> it's just like a natural process there's, happening. There's, there's, there's a the difference between an intellectual understanding and a, what do you say, a visceral yeah. understanding. <laughs> I, I think I get it up here. Yeah. Experiential. Yeah, experiential. And then yeah. he got killed and the Buddha told monks to make a, make a memo, memorial. And the monks came and asked the Buddha later, having made that memorial, um, what is his destination? Where did he go? Well, monks make the memorial not knowing that he is enlightened. Monks thought that he is... Uh, well, the Buddha even admitted, without even having robes for this guy, this guy went for looking for robes and a bowl so that he could be a monk. But again, he got killed and this memorial was built and monks came to the Buddha and asked what what is his destination? <clears throat> and the Buddha says this. Can you read that again? Namas <clears throat> Bhagya of the bark cloth was wise. He practiced the Dhamma in accordance with the Dhamma and did not pester me with issues related to the Dhamma. Bhagya of the bark cloth monks is totally unbound. So, <clears throat> it's free from any Bondage. Then he says this the Pali for this is Yatta Apocha Patavi Tejo Vayu Nagadati. Where is Pali? Natatta Sukha Jotanti Chando Tatta Nabahasati. See? Yeah, so this is the Pali. Can you try to read that with me? It's not a place you go. It's not a city, it's not a heavenly place. It's a place where none of these things don't exist. It's, you don't even say it is a place, basically. There the moon doesn't appear. There darkness is not found. And when a sage, a Brahman, through sagacity, through sagacity means by proper practice, proper conduct, has realized this for himself, then from form and form, formless. So what is form? The jhanas, the first four jhanas. Formless means the four attainments beyond the four jhanas. Like infinite space, infinite consciousness, 
nothingness, neither perception, no non-perception. And from bliss and pain, he is freed. So you are taken in the direction, well, say in Bahia situation, he was taken um, to Nibbana by simple instructions. That's why the Buddha said he did not pester me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did not tire me with too many questions. So when monks teach, don't ask questions. Is that <laughs> no, no. The Buddha says those who ask questions will be born wise. Means others will be born stupid. <laughs> no. Uh, better to ask questions where you will be born wise. Yeah. Uh, earlier when you were talking about um, the uh, about I think you know, the name. Bahia becoming an Arahant, Arahant. Mm -hmm. and and you said that he had the desire to learn, but that he felt he had no shortcomings or any. How how did you say that you said? Well, yes, is that is that. A frame of mind because oh. when, you know what I'm saying because because he thought he himself didn't there are how does that differ from someone who has karma even though they don't see that maybe there was something and but in their mind they they feel that there wasn't I mean and how do you explain that? well he, he, he didn't he have strong no. defilements like to find a partner and enjoy a lifestyle like that oh okay, okay. he did have residue remaining that he needed to work on okay. but he needed someone like a Buddha to tell him which way to look like how does the ending of suffering actually happens and that he was not self-awakened until this part was taught to him and he saw it himself. He may have done meditation enough to attain, because it's quite common at the time of the Buddha, there were many people who went to previous teachers of the Buddha, like Allah al Kala, Buddha Gram Buddha, who taught him the eighth <coughs> attainment or the seventh attainment. So others did that too, and Bahi may have learned it that he was able to see lots of other things, but he wasn't able to see this, the ending of it. How do we really end it? How do we, like you can meditate to a higher level, but until you get the right knowledge, you will not be enlightened according to this way, in a way that you become boundless, you become free. So karma is still affects to monks who are enlightened. Like Moggallana was beaten to death, beaten by bandits. And he, he, he escaped with his psychic abilities two times. The third time he gave up, like, this is coming after me. No matter how many times I escape, this, these guys will come looking for me. So he gave up and he was happy. He was ready. He worked on his karma that way, that this is now an inevitable thing. Inevitable thing. For Bahir too, he didn't know, but he, he got killed and it didn't matter that way. And he, he didn't suffer in that day. Well, it was uh, interesting how he was kind of deluded to think he was enlightened, but it took a heavenly being to come down and say, you're not any, anywhere close, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so listen to heavenly beings, you know, voices in your head, make some, make some, when you do meditation, that somebody says something, please listen to that. I think the sutra may be Bahudatuka sutra. And Namapara has had that. Gopiyatana. Mm. Okay, here I will try to find Bhagavad Gita. At least 
this trouble. Now, well, that would be like that. So now, I'll try to find it in the break. Um, all right. So back to your translations. Let's do more translations today as a group to practice translation method. And uh, you have number seven. Did you? Did most of you get there to do the, you know, number seven? Or I hope most of you did, as I got more exercise last night. Here's a little bit, so if you want to take a look at this for your revision. And in parentheses you see third person singular. What is third person singular? So, and the plural is? Okay. And second person singular? One. Plural is? First person singular is? Uh -huh. Plural is? Maya. So, and then third person singular with the past tense is? So, Pachi. Or So, Pachi. Or you can say So, Apachi. Or you can say So, Pachi. And then third person, person plural is te apachinsu or te pachinsu or te apachum or te pachum. All of that means they cooked. And second person singular, twang apacho, twang pacho. So, do you? Cooked. <laughs> and second person plural. Tunghe apachitra. Tunghe apachitra. You cooked plural. First person singular. Ahang apachin. Ahang apachin. Mayang apachin. Mayang apachin. Pachin. Mayan Apachim Ha Mayan Pachim Ha Be cooked. So adding the A at the beginning was confusing to me because I was understanding Negation. Yeah. Yeah. It was confusing to me as well when I learned it in the beginning. And now I got used to the usage of it. I'm like, okay. Because it's a verb uh, and you look at the sentence as a whole, and you try to say, oh, this is trying to say something that happened in the past. Not negation. But it is confusing, so be alert on that. You know, if it is someone telling something, like uh, like an order, how, how does that work? Like mm. In context, if you have the rest of it being in the past, then I guess even then you would that's yeah. That's that's true. In context, you you can sense it. But sometimes when they give an order, they, like they go cook. Yeah, go cook. Yeah. And then or go don't cook. Like don't cook. <laughs> that's what like negation. Like in they are, they may use a uh, in the beginning, mm. and that you need to not be confused with. So then you look at the vocative vocative case. In vocative, it's to address someone, hey man, don't cook, <laughs> you know. <laughs> then you know it is addressing someone and it could mean not, it could mean not negation, not an order to about past tense. Okay? But if we find an example, maybe we will. <clears throat> uh, maybe we will not, but uh, nothing comes off my head, so. 
we will see. You, we will find out more. That's why we need to do more sentences to find out where we are. Yeah. They are the last two verb. They are yes. starting with an A. Like the one uh, aruhi. Aruhi. Aruhi, and then a, achari. Uh -huh. They they start with uh, what A? Uh, already. With, uh, already. Also this one, ahari. Uh, yeah. That's so right. how does it? Well, what's Ruhi? When they Ruhi. happening? When there is a there is a uh, if if we follow this scheme, mm -hmm. um, is it going to be a, see, a yeah. hari? What's the negation? Ah, uh, I see. The is, it, uh, is, is 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 Ruhi oh. to see the highlighted descent? Yeah. Is Ruhi to descend? Ruhi. Is there no, Ruhi? No, no, no. To, it's already past tense, descended. Oh, just, I'm, I'm trying to say, I'm, I'm trying to see if that's an add addition to negate the descension. Can you not descend? Can you negate vowels with an A? <clears throat> yes. Uh, Ruhi, uh, we need to find if it is a verb, I mean root in the first place. Do you want to do that in the dictionary? Yeah, I guess it's kind of a little bit that, yeah. Yeah. No, not that. In the search form, right? So, please choose the new search form. Okay, Ruby. No, we are not. Sorry. No, we're not Ruby, but so. I mean, there are some of this like that, right? Let's see. So, can you read the highlighted part first before we go any further? The prefix is not, is not to be added to the basis beginning with the vowel. So, you are not going to say a a pachimha. Just a a just a just a ruhi. Yeah. So you want a ru a ru a ru a ru ha. If you say na pachimha, which is negation. Mm -hmm. Like he did not cook. A hard one. Yeah, na and a. If you wanted to say not, right? You can say it, but then the meaning becomes did not do whatever it, right. it intended to do. So a hari yeah. did not carry. A hari <laughs> did not carry. <laughs> carried, yeah. A hari means brought. Oh, oh that's mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If you say oh, now, how oh, I see. It does that's what I was saying. There are some. It's sort of. So ahari is brought, but what if you were to use hari? Uh -huh. Use hari. Yeah, hari carried. Hari. Yeah, that. You would not put a vowel be before that. No. Because then it would get brought. No, it's ah, not ah. It's a long ah, not short ah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah but long. the two words above brought or ahari is hari. Uh -huh. Yeah, but with hari, you just don't put a vowel on it. You can. What? But you're saying the a with the uh, because here the long it's long, a. Uh, long okay. A. Long a. And these ones are like short. Short. All short. What's uh, I'm trying to remember? Chatis when Agachatis go right. That's what where it's sort of the opposite, right? If you say agachati, it's, it's yeah, this go. is gachi, when? No, it's not the opposite. Yeah. No, this go, right? Yeah. And it's so not, no, agachati is come. Let me put gachi with now. this. Agachi, gachi, agachi, gachi. Ah. You saw that? Mm -hmm. Agachinsu, gachins, gachinsu, agachung, gachung. Right? Agacho gacho. Agachita gachita. Agachin gachi. Agachimha gachimha. Agachimha gachimha. Then with ganhi, well, let's do. Ahari, wrote. In that case, we need to drop some of them. Yeah. Ahari. Hari. Okay. If you say Hari, do we have Hari here? No. Hari is carried. 
Ambiguity. Yeah, hari. Ahari, hari. Aharinsu, harinsu. Aharum, harum. Aharu, haru. Aharitte, haritte. So you are dropping a in that case. Because you don't want to say a, a, some, you know, twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aruhi, for example. Aruhi. Just, just the second part, not the first part. So, so there are four possible, the one with Apache, and then Pachi. Can we say, yeah, that, I think that's the case, yeah. Aru, did I say Aruhi? Yeah. Aruhi, do you want to say Ruhi? Right. No, actually, actually the second part is the right, the proper one. The first part is not used because the first part has an extra A in yeah, front of it. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But I want to also find if there's a dictionary word called Ruhi. Yeah. Oh, we did that already. What was I thinking? Let me, well, I need to type it also correctly to see if that makes any difference. <coughs> So we might say there are exceptions, huh? A doesn't always negate. Yes. Like English, we know those exceptions. No. So, yeah, I think like Mr. Hong said, we, are skip, we need to uh, forget about that. But we will say, Aruhi, and then that's it. Client. Nothing else. Can we use the rest? Uh, uh, yeah, so. Can you use the third one? Aruhi? Short I? Yeah, short we e. can say short one. Short I. Aruhi. Aruhi or Aruhi? That's it. Yes. With that, with the, with the plural, you can say Aruhinsu. And then. Aruhi. You can say Ruhinsu. There is no such word. Aruhum, maybe, I, I can't tell because I'm not familiar with that. Aruhum, well I think Aruhinsu is what they use in common with mm -hmm. such, such words, yeah. So when we conjugate anything with a vowel, do we always drop the very first yeah. vowel? No matter what it is, we always drop the first one? Yeah, like this is... Like what they said here. So like if we look at ahari and we go to the top, um, so that first one we would make it a short a and we'd say ah. Uh, no. Probably it would still be a long a. We drop the we the first and the third. Okay, and then for the next one, what do we do there? Do we keep like right there? Would we it's still true. drop the a? You don't use it. You just don't use it. You, don't you, don't really use it. you forget that there's the next one. Oh, okay, okay, so we wouldn't conjugate it that way. No, okay. we wouldn't conjugate with all the possibilities, but with one that works. Okay. Today, uh, we will, did we discuss in the class exercise six? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we are here. Did we do the personal pronouns in the class? I think this was something people were struggling a little bit. Mm. Like when you want to say I, how do you decline I? What's the declension of ahang? So this is ahang, mm -hmm. means I. So please, uh, please see the English first. Can you read it with me? I, B, we, me, us, me, me, no. Oh, what is that? What? It's by me. It's missing. This has to be, no, by us. This has to be by us. They have not put it there. Dative genitive is to or, yeah, to, to me or for me. And then, to you. 
to us or for, for us here. Mm. And then ablative is from me and here from us. And locative is in me or in us. Done? And then in, in Pali. Nominative singular, aha. Mm -hmm. Plural, mayam. Mayam. Am he. Then, mam. Mam. Am he. Am ha. No. No. No is also a possibility. No doesn't mean no in English. Mm -hmm. uh, it's accusative. Mm -hmm. To us. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, No nyatina means to our relatives. Accusative used in dative sense because you see no here, right? In dative also, and no in instrumental also. So no is a dialectical a difference that came added to uh, this language. Some people started using it. And then the rest, Maya or Me. The plural, Am Hedi, Am Hedi, No. Mama, My Hug, Me, Mama. Am Hug, Am Haka, No. Ablative, Maya, Am Hedi, Am Hedi, My, Am Hesu. Then you have the declension of Tumha, which is about you. They have put English very much here. In each case, you need to... Let's try to guess the English here. This is you, singular. This is you, plural. Accusative, this is again you, singular. This is you, plural. And you see like no here, the usage is wo three times. This is by you, this is by you, plural. This is to and for you, singular. This is the plural. This is from you, singular. This is from you, plural. And this is in you, singular. This is in you, plural.